system is problematic. Lack of enforcement, no regulations, I mean, lack of equipment to work with, logistics, a whole lot of issues come to play. Aside the actions or inactions of the practitioner or whoever is in charge but of... But is that to suggest that the people who are supposed to regulate, monitor, sanction when wrongs are done are not doing their job? But David, we all know this. I mean, I won't say they are not doing their job, but what they are doing is not satisfactory enough. I see. So, so having said that, again, when it comes to healthcare delivery, human as we are, we cannot always be right. We might sometimes get it wrong. So based on medical malpractice or medical negligence or what we're witnessing out there, are we therefore suggesting that what human as they are, as doctors, as nurses and all that, what they cannot make mistakes? No, I mean, as human as they are, they are bound to make mistakes. That's why I said in my introduction that errors are permissible in healthcare provision. But to the extent that it causes an injury or death, I mean, at that level, then you can really say that a person has been reckless because there are a lot of measures that can be put in place along the line to avert the, the happening of certain I mean, situations. Mm. So then, if all those things fail, then it means that so people will tell you that they have reckless disregard for human life. They actually did not put in the necessary effort to ensure that people don't get to those stages. Mm. So errors are permissible. And they happen every day. I mean, yeah. how can you cite somebody for medical malpractice, for example, when an ex pricks you with a needle? Mm. You can't say the person has been negligent. Certain things are... But they do. The point is... So, so, for example, you go ahead with the point. Mm. What it is is that normally, from experience, it's not even about the injury per se, but the aftermath. Okay. How they are being handled by the hospital. So we'll talk about uh, the aftermath then. 